Okay, there we go. Now we got it. Teamwork. I thought it was like... Okay, that makes... Okay, that's fine. Alright, so I still need to find out how to get in this room. And how to get to a few other places. All the guards are nice... Nicely tucked away. In their beds. So apparently... I have... I have a, a cauldron, a dead rat, and a plant, or a flower. And I also need to, yeah, it's the ambient, it, the ambient music is pretty cool, of Thief 2. It's going to turn it up too much. That's what it's supposed to do. Not creep you out, but it's supposed to be kind of giving you that feel. Get them set in the mood. Alright, so what I need to do now is I need to figure out how to get in this room. Um, there's a secret entrance into a hallway from a hallway. I'm supposed to be over the key. Talking about a secret passage to that room from the hallway, but I don't want to get in trouble. So there's a hallway. Other than that, I can't think of anything else I can do because I only have the front door and the patio key. I don't have anything else. So I need to find... Do you think this would be a patio right here? So that's not, no. Is there anything else there? Let's just fucking do this. I should've just done this. Why is it still on? Like it matters. Everybody's knocked out. Shit. Yeah, and I can't open that in either the way. So those two doors won't open. Dark as shit. I need a different key. I need to get into. That's being one of them. I mean, this could be the hallway. This could be part of it. I mean, it has to be around that area. It can't just be like... You'll know if it's a secret door, by the way, if you fucking swing and you hit something. So, I'm gonna do this all around. Just to make sure. If I hear something, that means there's a doorway. Or a secret passage of some sort. So there's nothing here. Okay, that's just a regular door. Um, hmm, that makes absolutely no sense. Could be, maybe... the tiles loosens and you go under that can't be it can't be in that is really bright I don't want to do that that's fucking hurting my eyes right now why unless we're talking about up top or something
secret passage of any sorts. Uh, I'm not sure why I'm not getting on the rope arrow, but that's cool. Passage through the hallway. Didn't say where in the hallway, so it just says from the hallway. So it could be anywhere, I guess, in the hallway. Okay, I don't see shit here, so. be downstairs I guess too I mean hmm. I still have to figure out why I have a cauldron a fucking dead rat and a plant that makes no sense to me okay I want to try to finish at least most of this before I actually go to bed um, I don't know where I'm at right now I need to steal Maybe I got. I'm about halfway done. It looks like. A little under halfway done. It looks like I should say. Okay. Got all the guards knocked out, which makes that kind of easy. All right. So that's. I need to get in that room. Passage from the hallway. I need to go down, in the well, and find out how to get down in there. And then. I need to... Does this break? Please tell me this breaks. Damn. That'd be crazy. That'd be funny if it did. What else do I need to get into? Let's look at the map again one more time. So we've been to the gallery. We've been to the study. Trophy room. The butler and the pool room. Maybe I'll check those out. The butler again. Pantry kitchen. We've been all over here. Dining hall, drawing room, parlor. Oh, I need to go to her room to grab the library key to go to the next part. So I need to do that. So the first floor, so possible balcony access. So here's the library. I need to go to the library, which means I have to go to her room. The master bedroom over here. I don't know how I'm going to get to that, but I'm assuming once I get to the library and go here, get to the library, then go in here, then the key will be found there. Uh, top floor. Oh, yeah, I've been to those tower rooms. Ladder to library. I've been to these two tower rooms. I've not been to these these rooms. Maybe, or I can get probably get to the master bedroom from the library. Maybe there's like a little... I don't know, is there something else going through there, maybe? I don't know. Okay, I need to go to the... I need to get the library key. No, there's not. Okay, so I need to get in here. Is that like a pig or something? That's weird. There's nowhere. Wait, is there any way to get into the master bedroom? Hold on. No. No, there isn't. Okay. That's something different. It's fine. All right, so I need to go through her room. Down the well, there's another spot too. And oh yeah, and there's a spot over there too. This like it's like the cemetery. Not the cemetery. It's like a. It's over there. I don't know what the hell that is. I don't know if. I don't know. I don't know if it, that's where his ancestors buried or not. I, I'm assuming so, but I don't know. Um, because then that then there's the bottom of the well. Okay, so there's a few places. Alright, so let's go to her room, which means there's a secret passage in the hallway. Uh, it doesn't necessarily say how or where it is. San Mateo. Yeah, San Mateo. It's 
what I said. But in order to get there, it's like literally right above this room right here. It's literally right above this room. But the access is not... It says hallway. This is the study. So let's go to the map real quick. I need to go to sleep soon too. Alright, so let's go back here. Okay, so... Front... Well, that's the first floor. We want the second floor. Ground floor. Okay, hang on. Let's do this before I get, like, confused. Okay, here's the ground floor. I'm looking... This is the front door, then. And then this is the gallery over here, right? And that's the parlor. Is that right? Yeah. Okay, we're fine. So, if we go... We don't want the drawing room. Alright, so... Here's the guest room where she's staying in at. Okay, apparently that's the little balcony, I guess. This is the first floor. Um, and that leads up to that, which is the tower room, which is fine. So this is the hall. This is the only place it can be, is like right over here. This is like a hall, this is like a hallway. This is this. It has to be over here. I mean, that's his balcony, so... It's this hallway, so this right here is where it has to be. Let's look at the note one more time to see if we can. This is <laughs> Selena. What am I to do? I'm supposed to bring back, bring the Lord his food tomorrow. I to be bringing the Lord his food tomorrow, but in order to do that, I need the key to his chambers. Okay, so to get to the key to his chambers, and now Cecil tells me that he left it in the library okay and we all know where the library key ended up so I need to go to her room to get the library key and then I need his key which is in the library so the police have the room boarded up which is, yeah Cecil was talking about a secret passage to that room from the hallway but I don't want to get in trouble with that detective. Secret passions of that room from the hallway. So that's, like, that's here. It, it's, it has to be here. There's a moth inside here. Okay. It has to be here. I mean, it doesn't have to be, but... It, I don't think it can be the ground floor. I mean, it, it's possible, but... Like, there's no room to make, like, an actual secret passage on the ground floor going up, I don't think. Because look how thin the wall is. The wall is, like... That thin. So the secret passage has to open... Maybe it's up here. Maybe I... F maybe... And oh, I might have, I might have like screwed myself, maybe. Because I'm trying to think about like how Drew Me D works and how this works. If there was a secret passage, if you hit the like. There's nothing there for secrets. <sighs> oh gosh. <sighs> that is really bright. <sighs> I don't know where it would be. Unless I can just use the sword. <laughs> 
I don't think I can do. Yeah, I don't think I can do that. This is going to be tricky. I don't know why, but it should not be this hard. I don't think it can be the bottom. It has to be through the top or it has to be through the... This is the balcony, so I don't think it's going to be here, but it's possible. Let's just do what we did on the other side. Saved it, so just in case. There has to be like a button in one of these things. I mean, I don't know what else this could be. I've checked up there. I've checked down here. I've checked. I've tried knocking the walls to make sure there's like no actual secret passages it opens. I don't think it can go down there. So this wall is this thin, which means the secret passage. And then this wall is that. Okay. I mean, it could be over here, but this is not a hallway. That's the problem. It's not a. The hallway, unless it says hallway. Could be anywhere here, I guess. And the next one is just the tower. So the tower room, that's not it. It says hallway, not tower room. So it could still be here? But I highly doubt it. Because so what's over. No, because the the, that's up there would be. I don't see anything. Secret passage up. Trying to hitch the secret door or something, but nothing, huh? Alright. I need to go over here. I, that's what I was going to check out. So how thick... So it's... I don't think that could happen. It doesn't look like it's like actually... plausible. There's no way. Especially with how th thin this shit is. It wouldn't happen. It has to be upstairs. Okay. And I think the thickness of the floor... It's a little bit above there, so it's probably like where? Like right. That's pretty thin. That's not it either. 
can't be there. I'm trying to think about where the secret passage would be like logically, since I can't find it. button open a door or something? I don't know. That is a lot of cards. These cards actually look pretty cool though. Pretty realistic. A lot better than the original thief stuff. People have done great work. Alright, now what the fuck am I doing? I don't know about going up there and having like a anything up there to be honest. I don't think that's going to be the case. You think a secret passage would be somewhere over here. But I've whacked this whole wall. Like this. And there's nothing that would open. Because I'm knocking on it. Normally when you do that, that means... Uh, it's just a wall. There's no door. There's no secret. Normally if there's a secret door... It will make noise. It's... That was this door, I think, right? That was that door. That's what it would sound like. Or that. It would either sound like... It would sound like something as opposed to nothing. So this could technically still be it over here. That's not that. That was me. Yeah, I don't know. There it is, I found it. How do I move this chair? That's what I get for blowing out this fucking light that I needed. Okay, so I found it, I found it. You can see it right there. Okay, I'm glad that happened. I was like, this is like ridiculous. This is kind of a hallway, so that's good. I need a button. Is that it? Found it. Let's go on to the scary room. Okay, that's a lot of blood. That's the library key. fuck happened in here? That is... is someone painting with a uh, finger paint or something? And it was, uh... <laughs> it was that time of the month and it was really bad, I guess. Alright, let's read the book. Crime Scene Analysis Report. Case... 4,792. Crime scene is a guest bedroom at Pavoni Manor. Blood pattern across wall and floor indicates artery spray. Probably cut throat. Oh, that's disgusting. But the victim must have been moved shortly thereafter as there is little pulled blood on the floor. No sign of body, no indications of drag marks. Some signs of a struggle. Displaced furniture. Question. Where's the body? It seems unlikely they could have survived and moved themselves. Where's the rest of the blood? How did the killer move the blood without leaving any traces of it? A trace of blood outside this room. I shall seal this room until the chemist can arrive from the city. Hopefully he can shed more light on the scene. Okay, that's it. Uh, maybe there's something in here where the body... There might be a secret passage in here of some sorts. Before we get too much into this, let's go uh, do the library stuff right now since we have the key. So the library is going to be over here, and then we go in the library, and let's turn the light off. That seems like a really bad idea to have this on, going into places we don't know. Okay, let's... Every time there's a library, I feel like there's always a secret book I need to fucking pull. I was saying that on Thief Gold, too. I have to play some Thief Gold missions. I didn't think about that. Let's see how those are. Gold, Dark Project, whatever works. The Layman's Guide to Dispelling Simple Magic. 
I don't know if this is going to be useful. Part 2, Concealment Charms. A simple protective spell is a concealment... Oh, maybe that's why I have the cauldron. Concealment Charm. An indication of the illusionary arts. The function of the spell is to surround a small object with a magical field that dispels awareness. Essentially though not in a technical sense, making the object in question invisible. It is typically used to protect valuable object and is considerably simpler than a true invisibility spell. Oh, okay, so that's probably what I'm going to have to use maybe in like the his ancestor's chambers to get whatever the item I need in there. Uh, I'll it's much longer lasting. To counter the spell and reveal the object, one must first locate the magic circle used for the indica uh, incantation, typically... Oh, that is that what we saw? A chalk disc. Did we see that at the at the bottom of the well? I think we did. Next, place your cauldron in the center of the circle and pour in a bottle of. Okay, the wine, Lycarian wine. In the absence of Lycarian wine, any similar drink made from Thalorn berries will suffice. Do I have that? Read the rest of this. Uh oh. To this, you must add the petals of. Okay, cool. Which we have. The Jardelian plumeria, a rare blue flower. Once the mixture has changed color, you must add an offering of dead flesh. To the, the freaking rat. Okay, so I need, I need. I need the Lorne berries. Okay, I need the berries. Uh, typically, the body of a small animal will be of sufficient potency. Finally, the mixture must be set alight. Okay, so if the spell has been performed correctly, it will not burn, but will instead absorb the magical energy and evaporate almost instantly, and the concealed object will re reappear. Concealment charms are only effective within about 10 feet of the magic circle, so you should not have to look very far to find the new, newly revealed object. For information about dispelling more advanced invisibility spells, see chapter 10. Okay. We're fine. We're okay. In youth, I went beyond the pale and seeking life's extremity. As I upon this road set sail, I came to harm most grievously. And glimpsed beyond death's turbid veil, I saw no garden of tranquility, no paradise or verdant vale, no angels singing happily, no golden gate nor cloud set trail, nor even hell that fi uh, fiery sea, of soul, of souls that circle, shriek and wail, in bright and tortured agony. No, what I saw beyond that veil was dark and voided nothingness for all eternity. Oh, wow, there's a lot of them right there. Holy shit. Okay, I'll read them. In my horror at this revelation, I stumbled from that final gate. Returned to life by ministration of healer's touch, did his death abate. Yet still I felt no jubilation, for patient death would sit and wait until that final visitation, and reap my soul no love or hate, or some impassionate explanation, this apathetic steward of my fate, would grant but mere cessation, nothingness upon that date. And in that frightful cons consternation, I vowed I would pay any price to halt the ultimate. Uh, reclusive furniture, uh, jeez, I thought it was said furniture, jeez. Reclusive, furtive I became, all hid inside this grim and set hall, where not could hurt or kill or maim, me locked away from dangers all, where I began that tw uh, twisted game, and f uh, fevered journals, untidy scroll, to conquer death my, excuse me again, my stated aim, I tried each potion, chant and, uh, chant and call, to demons, gods, and all that claim, their mystic and al alchemical, okay, Solutions to this mortal frame, yet no one, yet none could slow time's endless crawl. I lost my youth, forgot my name, until at last I felt death's grip that I could not forestall. 
last one. And thus with final exhalation, uh, exhalation, I began the, I put you, God, I can't even, I'm so fucking tired. What, it's like six in the morning for me, I think. And thus with final exhalation, I beg, I beg thee worry not of fate. Live not in fear and trepidation, lest you should find it far too late. For love and joy and celebration, so when you age, lie sedate, and see the void your destination, look back and see your life equate. To just regrets and isolation, this life that I did obligate, as death clears now my obfuscation was already void and empty slate. This hollow doom of my creation, I died that day a fearless youth in passion consummate. Okay. So we need we know what we need to do. We have a rat, the cauldron, and we just need we need to go outside and find the, the berries is what we need to do. That's all. I'm gonna actually turn this on because I think this might help me find any secrets. It's a possibility there's gold here. Um, I'm not really too stressed. Master bedroom key. Okay, we're good. Um, there could be uh, some gold on top of these, to be honest. I mean, I'll check a few of them, I guess. But, I mean, there's a good, really good possibility that, you know, he hid some gold up here. Which I don't see any. Alright, so we need to go get the berries. I don't want to do that. Nope, 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 stop. I don't want to close that either. I want to turn that off. We're going to go in his bedroom. Master bedroom. Been saving a lot. I've been safe sitting a lot of a lot. As of more recently. Okay, this is really creepy. You thought the other noise was creepy. This noise is a lot creepier. I didn't read the book in the other place real quick. That noise is really creepy. I almost don't want to even go in the bedroom. There's like some curse on the guy, probably. Wait, did I read this over here? I thought there was a book that I didn't read. I didn't read this. Pavoni Family History, Volume 1. To learn of the history of the Pavoni family is to learn of the war and death lords. Oh, that's cool. Uh, for the two are in many ways one and the same. For most of the 8th century, the Death Lords ruled the northern waste, satiating their demonic hunger on the defenseless villagers and raising armies of undead thralls and allying, them, uh, all allying themselves to uh, monstrous beasts like dragons. This is not too long, but it's pretty long. Their reign was utterly unchecked until a charismatic young soldier named... Claster Bavoni determined that the Death Lord's influence must be checked before their power was enough to conquer all the known world. He raised a loyal group of followers, many from the ranks of those who had lost friends or family to the Death Lord's campaigns of terror. They swore an oath not to rest until they had hunted down and destroyed the Death Lords. Their cause was worthy, and their skill in battle was unmatched. In, in battle unmatched. They. What? Yeah, okay, cool. Just making sure. Let's say they harried the thrall armies and drove them back into the northern waste, ever seeking their demonic masters. They slew many of the mighty dragonkin, dragonkin and thus became known as the Order of the Dragon. Gradually, they uncovered the Death Lords, each resting in a foul den uh, neath some ancient church or abandoned village. Each time they came upon the Lords uh, during the day, when their power was lessened and separated. Uh, lessened and separated their limbs and head from their bodies, scattering and burning the pieces to ensure the Death Lords could never return. Claster Bavoni was ever at the forefront of these assaults, and with each Death Lord felled, his mighty sword absorbed their cruel malice and became ever more powerful and effective at destroying the unholy creatures. After years of skirmishes, many losses, and quests across vast areas of the north, the Death Lords were defeated. Claster Pavoni returned weary but triumphant to the city where he was granted a lordship for his heroism. Heroism. Oh, God. He was given a house and profitable silver mine. Oh, this is the house. Silver mine in the countryside just outside the city. 
but by all accounts he did not retire happily. He was never convinced that the threat of the Death Lords was ended. He believed some may have fled before their destruction and hid themselves away in the deepest reaches of the earth, waiting until the le uh, legend has passed from the memory of the world to rid forth once more of a tidal wave of blood. Oh, so that's what's going on here then. Um, the, sh the Death Lord is probably around here and killed her and he's hiding or something. Um, his most faithful knights remained with Claster and accommodated what did not share his pessimistic views. Claster, along with the entire Order of the Dragon, eventually passed away and were entered in what? Okay, so that's where they are. They're in the Pavoni family crypt is where they're at. Okay. Of his sword, no rumors speak of where it may have been hidden, but it would surely be a valuable heirloom. So maybe I have to use that to kill the Death Lord? Valuable heirloom if it were to be found. It is said that such was his de uh, devotion to his cause that is go shall arise should the threat of the death lords ever return funny family history two and three okay yeah we have to sadly enough we have to go inside uh, we have to go inside his room all right so let's i don't know how this is gonna go this could turn out really fucking bad even in here. Is he a death lord? I'm scared. Regardless of his all-consuming paranoia, I confess to deriving much comfort from how well hidden the secret vault my ancestor had constructed is. Why, to even learn of its existence, one would have to be poking around in the loft. My valuables and artifacts from my expeditions will be quite safe within and of course the other doors have proven most useful in recent weeks i am nonetheless of a mind to make a donation to the mechanist order to then inquire about having a modern more secure locking mechanism fitted rather than the bizarre gemstone contraption it has now so i don't know what's going on but things are not looking good because this noise right now that's happening is very creepy He is not even in here. Where would he be? Okay. Yeah, some creepy ass noises. We need to go find berries. The berries should be somewhere out in backyard or maybe the side yard those are flowers okay I did maybe those are berries no that's not it maybe over here I would I would assume they're over here in some sort of have to check all the plants now. Shit. I know those are flowers, but I said we're going to have to check all the plants at this point. Because I don't know where the hell this would be. I don't think you'd put it by the rat, because that's too close to the other... The cauldron, I, don't, I think I got in the kitchen. The dead rat I got there. The flower I got in the backyard. It might be over here on this other side yard, maybe. Or it could be in these little piles. Oh, never mind. That was just the color of it. It just looked really... That's fine. There's something back here, right? Yeah, there's nothing back there. Berries have to be somewhere. Okay. Uh, 
over here. somewhere <coughs> it has to be here somewhere I mean I picked them from out the flower from outside so I'm assuming the berries are out here if they're not the kitchen it couldn't be in the, I mean, it could be in the kitchen, but it's highly unlikely since I already got the cauldron from there. So I'd have to kind of go to square one. I did not grab anything inside here, though. Maybe they're inside here. is pretty creepy too to be honest. Aha! No, that's not it. It would actually say the actual berry name I think. Shit. Yeah, okay, I just checked everything in there. The only other thing I do is thinking about Maybe I'm going on the bush. I need to actually look up more. Maybe it's not closer to the ground. On, the, on these bushes over here. But maybe it's like up more on the bush. Like I'm looking directly on the ground. As opposed to like right here. Maybe it could be on the top of the bush too. We'll find out. I'll go back there. If I can't find them. Piece of fruit's going to help later on. I'm assuming. They have to be here somewhere. Oh, fishing poles. I was like, what the hell are those? Now it makes sense. Damn, dude. Once I have this, uh, I can go down to break the enchantment spell, I guess. That's where I found the flower, I think, right? The berries not... No, they can't be. I'm thinking they're going to be on this wall or something, but that's... I highly doubt it. It would be really ridiculous if it was. Because that would be extremely hard to actually, like, kind of... Okay, we're going to check this one more time. Go a little bit higher. Okay. I've checked all that. I pretty much checked. I didn't check this area. these berries at? I mean, we got the flower from over the other side. Shit. That's the only thing I'm missing for that. Pretty sure... Damn it. I need to ransack his vault.
which is under the well. I'm pretty sure that's where it's at, but I need these stupid berries, which are pretty much like non-existent at this point. What is this shit, dude? Took him anyways. Okay, berries. Okay, I need to figure out what the fuck these berries are. The Lorne berries. Real quick, oh, I need to get rid of that. Okay. Alright. It's pretty late. It's I really need a bit soon. Come on, saying that. I can't stop playing this man mission. My headache is mostly gone. I don't know where the berries... They're in, either in the kitchen, the pantry. They have to be in the kitchen or the pantry. There's nowhere else they can be. That's very... Maybe there's somewhere that... I've checked everywhere else for them. I mean, I picked the flowers, so maybe like it makes sense that I picked those too, but where? Like, are they on the trees or something? Like, would that... Like, that kind of wouldn't make any sense to me, but... I think they would be on a bush. More than a tree. But you never know. Yep. I did see some of the that shit hanging off and see there's plants in here. Let's see this real quick. Over here there is shit, shit hanging off right here. Okay, not there. Other side, another side, on the other side. So I would say I would say kitchen at this point. Is my next best guess. Any type of kitchen or storage would be my next best guess on this. How did I miss that the first time? Okay, there's no berries in here. So, storage would be the next thing, I would say. 
pantry, I guess. Whatever storage pantry. Logical place would be outside, pantry, kitchen. Um, <gasps> there's a lot of freaking wines here, bro. Uh, I could probably grab one of these wine bottles if they worked, which means that. I could go downstairs then. It could be downstairs. Berries, 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 berries. Where would the berries be? Berries are not down here. Which means the berries have to be somewhere. That is really cool. I do like that. The trees and stuff. Okay, so. Not in there, unless they can't be on the fucking trees. They could be, but idea where these berries are going to be. Hmm. I'm going to come back to this later. This is where the crypt is. Right, well, that is the crypt. Why did you find berries? Right, I'm going to go to bed. I'll make a two-part of this. It's fine. I'm really tired. Which is a good thing. I need to make sure that I keep my sleep schedule somewhat on track after that whole debacle of my headache and me feeling like crap earlier today. Um, so what I'm going to do is I need to, tomorrow, I need to find the berries to get, to pretty much ransack Lord Pavoni's secret vault. I have a feeling I'll find out what happened to Marianne as the the story progresses. Find proof that the mine is still full of silver. I'm not sure how that's going to happen. The Ankh protection is being the crypt with Lord Pavoni's ancestors, which is after we ransack Lord Pavoni's secret vault, as I have a feeling. The death mask of Emperor Kaitan. I don't know where that's going to be. Maybe in the vaults. I ransack it, I guess. But I can't find these berries at all. And I have no idea where they could be, because I've literally been over 
all of pretty much all of the plants and bushes and trees. So I don't know where else it could be. Yeah. So I'm just trying to think before I go to bed, like is anything I've missed so far? I don't think I've missed anything. The only thing I can think about is go after more of the trees and then also with these bushes. I was going down crouching a lot. Maybe I'm barely missing the berries that way, I guess. Because I can't think of anything else where the berries would actually be. Anyways, I'm going to go to bed. I'm going to save Steeter right now. And I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. I will be on tomorrow to finish this up. All right, night.